Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the IIT JAM 2020 Mathematics. Today we will discuss all those questions which are asked related to the infinite series in this video. Let's see firstly how many questions are there. The first question is related to the radius of the convergence. Second one is related to the convergent and divergence and their limits. Third one is you have to check whether it's a convergent or divergent series. Fourth one is you have to find the condition on the N, M and P so that the series will converge. Then it's a rearrangement series are there. This is the sum of the convergent power series. And this is the sum of the series of this form. You have to fill in the blanks. And then you have to find the radius of the convergence. So we will see all these questions in this video. Within a few fraction of seconds you can solve each of these problems. Let's start with this problem. So whenever there is a question related to the radius of convergence, always you have to compare this with respect to here. Then the series is convergent over this value where R is called as the radius of convergence such that what is the value of the R is my An upon An plus 1 as n approaches infinity. So if you compare this series with here, what is the x in this case? That is x raised to power 5. That is the x is my x raised to power 5. Now what is the r? You have to find this value of r from this. This is my an. So if you find an upon an plus 1, what is that? This is n cube upon 4n. 4 is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 of cube. So what is that? This is n upon n plus 1 cube separate. 4 is there. This limit goes to the 1 as n approaches infinity. So what is that? This is my 4. Now your target is to find the radius of convergence of the power series. So what is the value of the x is here? 4 raised to power 1 by 5. So that is my radius of convergence. So you can check that which one is the right answer is here. Look at the another question is there. So you have to check that either the series xn is convergent or yn is convergent. And if they convergent, what are their limits? So firstly let me check what are the limits. Either the limit of the x is greater than or here. So assume the limit x converges to the L, yn is converges to the m. So you can substitute here, what is that? L is L plus m upon 2. So you can see L is equal to m. It means this option is cancelled out. Now you have to check which one is the true. So that's very simple. Now from here we know that arithmetic mean is always be greater than of the geometric mean. So what is the meaning of that? xn plus 1 is always be greater than of the yn plus 1. Or you can see xn is always be greater than of this for all n. Now, if you uh, if you think about here, xn is always be greater than. Now, uh, what you can do, you can start from the xn plus 1, which is nothing but my here, this over 2. Now, you can see that yn is less than of the xn. So, if I add xn on both sides and divide it by 2, so what is that? This is nothing but my here. That is, you can see xn plus 1 is here. It means series is my decreasing sequence. Also, this is my geometric series. You can also write from here. You can simply see that xn is my here. You can multiply them. You can see this is always be here. It means this is my increasing sequence. B. Now, when the monotony increasing or decreasing sequence will be convergent. When you prove that it is a bounded, then you can easily see that it is a convergent. B. Now, from here, you can easily see x of 4 is less than of the x3 is less than of the x2 is less than of the x1 and here what is that x of 1 is given to be here it means this is a bounded here this is a bounded below similarly uh, from here you can write of this it means both the series series xn is a bounded as well as monotonic so it means both the series are my convergent so it means this is not convergent cancel this is cancel out both the series convergence and the limits are equal. So this is the right answer of this problem. Look at the another one is there. Which of the following series is convergent or not? That's a very simple question is there. So if you look about this question firstly, I can consider here 1 plus n square of 1 by 4. So if you consider V of n is 1 by this. So what will happen? Un upon Vn. So if I take 1 by 4 is common, this is here this value. So it will goes to the 1 which is a non-zero but this series is divergent by p test. All of you know that what is the p test is? This series whenever p is less than equal to 1 it's a divergent otherwise convergent. So it means this series is my divergent that is bn is divergent. So this option is cancelled out. 
or this option is cancel out now to check whether this is convergent or not so if i take this is my u of n then what is the v of n i can take i can take 3 and common from upside 5 is there that is here now if you take again u n upon v n ratio that will goes to the again one as n approaches infinity which is a non zero but this series is convergent by yes by the gp series test all of you know that what is the G, gp series is r raised to power n is convergent if mod of r is less than 1 it means this is my convergent this is divergent which one is the right answer is uh, both is convergent that cancel out this is divergent this is convergent is the correct answer look at the other one is there again you have to find now it is given that this series is convergent so what is the meaning of that if i consider u of n is my here this and if i consider v of n is my this value so what is the un upon vn so that will be cancel out it will be my here so it will goes to the one as n approaches infinity if p is my greater than of 0 otherwise it will be the infinity so when it will be as an approaches infinity this will goes to the zero only when p is my positive so this is the convergent so when it will be the convergent when m is greater than of the 1 and p is greater than 0 is there any option so m should be greater than 1 is the convergent are there so this is nothing is there so only option is my here m is greater than 1 so uh, otherwise if you look about this if m is equal to 1 you can substitute here so the what is the right answer of this this is the problem and p is greater than 1 you can take as say 4 any of the value are taken here so if i v as 1 by n so what is the un upon vn so it will be 1 upon here so it will goes to the 1 but this series is the divergent so it means this is not convergent but here you can see that m is greater than 1 only the one option here so this is the right answer look at this is the rearrangement series are there now if you look about the options are there it is a multiply by 2 or somewhere or else they are equal now if you closely look about this i can say this number is my half i can take this as my 1 by 4 as such this is again half if i take 1 by 3 is a common so it will be my 1 by 6 it is my 1 by 8 this is my 1 by 5 is common again it's a half so it's a 1 by 10 it's minus 1 by 12 it's a plus and so on so if you closely look about that if you take half as a common from here what will happen it's a 1 it's a half it's a plus 1 by 3 it's a minus 1 by 4 it's a plus 1 by 5 it's a minus 1 by 6 and so on so this series is my t this series is my s so what is that s is half of t s is my half of t is the right answer which one is there that is 2s is my t 2s is my t that is the correct option for this series look at the another one is there so if you look about you have to find the value of the f of half and the series is the convergent are there so if you look about this series which things uh, which thing come in your mind when you look about this series there is a logarithm series b and since all are the positives all of you know that what is the logarithm of the 1 plus x it will be my x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 and so on it's a plus minus plus minus but here we need all the positive it means wherever the plus sign is appears that is cancel out now what is the log of 1 minus x series it is a minus of x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 minus x4 by 4 minus and so on now what you can do is you have to see look at the options it should be divide if you multiply by t then it first power is x square but we need only as a x so it means this option is also cancel out p so if you divide it by x on the on this side what will happen this is minus 1 minus x by 2 x square by 3 x cube by 4 x and so on b and then if you integrate them what will happen if you integrate this it will be my minus x minus x square by 2 Minus x cube by three six uh, x square. That's a two square. It's a three. It's a three square. It's x four upon four square and so on. B. So you can see these are same series B. So provided only negative sign is there, so I can multiply this negative sign here. Log of one minus x upon x. So log one minus x upon x is the right answer. Uh, one by uh, this is a negative. Here is the right answer. This is a positive. That's why it's not true. Since f of half is given, so we can integrate from zero to x. So it's zero to half. 
this is the right answer of this problem. Look at this series is there. Again, this is a very simple series. What you can do is you have to simply use the partial fraction of this series B. Because since 4n and 4n are same, so what you can do, how you can do that? So what is the root of this is 3. So you can substitute 3 here everywhere. So 4 times of this plus what is that? This is minus of 1. So if you substitute here, it's a minus of 4, 4n plus 1. So I can see 1 by 4 is outside. 1 by 4n minus 3 minus 1 by 4n plus of 1 over this series 1 to infinity. Now if you open this bracket, what will happen? If series 1, it will be my 1. If it is 1, then it will be 5. Plus if you substitute 2, it will be my 1 by 5. Then it will be my uh, 2 is 8, 9. Similarly 1 by 9 and so on. So what will happen? You can see 1 by 5 is cancelled out. This will be cancelled out and so on. Only the last part will be pending here. Now you can take the limit as and approaches infinity. This will goes to the zero. So the right answer is one by four is the correct answer. Also, you can do uh, otherwise you can do like this way also. You can multiply by four. That is the difference of this minus three and one. That's the difference is four. So you can multiply and divide by four here. Now I can add four n and I can subtract minus of the four n. I can break this 4 as 1 plus 3. Now what is happened? This is 4n plus 3 minus of 4n minus 3 over 4n minus 3, 4n plus 1 and the limit is here. Again you can see partial fraction is this one. So the right answer is 1 by 4. Look at the last question are here. So what you can do is that if you look about that, this is the series for the x square and this is 3 this is 3 and these are 5. So if you are thinking about uh, write the series in form of the, this like of 3 raised to power something here is the 5 raised to power something and you have to find the radius of convergence of this say r1 this is as a r2 but the sum of the series of convergence will be greater than or equal to minimum of r1 and r2 but we need the exact answer so it means this this concept is not applicable. So you have to write this as a common series b. How you can write that? That's again a very simple. If you look about this series in a very careful manner, what is that? You can see the firstly here part 3, this, this. You can see the powers are my even. Our target is to write this in the form of series here where a n is. You can see the powers are my even. It means I can take n as 0, 2, 4, 6 as the first case and n is second case is my uh, 1, 3, 5 and so on that is the odd numbers are here. Now how you can define that? You can see it's a, when it's a 0, it's a 1, it's a 3, it's a 2 so I can write this series as of n plus 2 by 2 is very simple and for the even part this is a 5, it's a 5 square, it's a 5 cube I can write this as of n plus 1 by 2. Now as I discussed in the question number 1 this will be less than of r where r is a n upon a n plus 1. So if you start from here, what is the a n upon a n plus 1? This is nothing but 3 raised to power n plus 3 over 2 divided by n plus 2 upon 2 that is 3 raised to power half. While for this series, it will be my 5 raised to power half. So the for the odd even number here, for the odd number is my here. So but we need the right answer. So what is that? Since 5 raised to power half is always be greater than of the 3 raised to power half. So what is that? Uh, this value is less than of this value and what is the limit of the supremum? What is, uh, you can see here this value is this one. So what is the limit of the supremum is my here. You can see 3 raised to power half is the right. Uh, so r square. So what is the r square is? 3 raised to power half is there, then what is the right answer of this problem is my 3 is the correct answer of this problem. So that's the way you can solve this kind of the questions in a very simple manner. We will solve some another question in our next videos. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various one. Best of luck students. Happy learning.